Hey guys, so we went to Walmart real quick and uh, we decided we're gonna make some steaks and some potatoes, potatoes uh -huh. from a recipe that you saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Have no veggies, forgot that. Oh, yeah. But we forgot. <laughs> I just remembered right now when you were saying the. I don't know. Maybe we can, like, we have squash, right? Maybe. Maybe, Maybe I do. But we'll look. Mm -hmm. Either way, we've been longing for this New York mm -hmm. steak. We threw out like two packets already. I it, know. It, just expired. it expires really. It expires yeah. really quickly. So what? Earlier we filmed this clip. We went to Starbucks and um, we were talking about this new app that we found called Drop. And basically what it is is an app that you download and you link your credit card, debit card, whatever card you use mostly, and you link it to that account and you choose five stores that you like normally shop at. And for us, we chose, I have it up here, McDonald's, Starbucks, Target, Trader Joe's, and Walmart. For us, like the top three, what would you say? Walmart, Target, Yeah, we don't Starbucks? really go to Trader Joe's as much as we used to. Not as much as we used to, yeah. But it basically just works like behind the scenes. So whatever it is that you spend on um, at those places, you earn points. So I can show you guys what we have so far. We had more. But it just shows you like right here, we went to Walmart. It's about take a while to focus. I can't see it. It's too bright. <laughs> this darn thing. Hold on. Then we can take this off. All right. Hopefully this will focus. There we go. So it says points history, Walmart. It says we spent $46 at Walmart and we earned 93 points just from that purchase. So let me set you guys back up. Hopefully this will, oh, very crooked. Right? Feels mm -hmm. crooked. Whatever. Anyway, so I just want to share it with you guys. So basically, we have it going. We linked both of our debit cards because we have the same um, bank account, and we linked both of our our credit or debit cards. And so we go shopping, Target, Walmart, any of those five stores that we personally chose, and um, we earn points. So within the first week, we had like ten thousand points, and every five thousand is like a five dollar gift card, and you can get one from Amazon, you can get one from Starbucks, you can get one. Pretty much a, a lot of like good stores. They had Nike, remember I was yeah. about Nike, Banana Republic, I think, and a lot of other places. So we, again, got the 10,000, so we're like, why not? Let's go to Starbucks. So yeah. we got two $5 gift cards to spend. That's why we got some coffee earlier. And the barista there, she like asked us, she's like, where are you getting these? Because he was paying and he was showing her the barcodes, like her scanning, like the, met the what's it called? The gift cards? Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so she was like, where are you getting these, like, barcodes from? And I told her, I was like, oh, it's an app called Drop, and it, like, works behind the scenes, and you get to earn points just in your normal daily spending. You're not adding anything, you're not, like... Yeah, you really don't have anything to lose. Yeah, it's crazy, and we're not, like, they're not paying us to say this. We literally... I found out because my sister told me about it, so I downloaded it because I know how much we go to Target, and now yeah. Walmart occasionally. Finley's using the restroom. <laughs> I can hear him scratching. And so I was like, yeah, like, why not? Let's give it a try. And just again, in the first week, we had so many points. Mm -hmm. So we're just getting these like little gift cards here and there. So the cool thing is that I guess every time you invite people or invite friends, you can um, like earn points, more points to your account. So we wanted to share our code with you guys. I'll do it again. Hopefully this will focus. It just says, oh, let's see. That's the drop logo. It says want free rewards invite a friend with your invite code and you can earn points and every time um we refer you guys we get points and you guys get points so our referral code is 453 id so when you sign up just make sure to add that to your account and i think you get like five i could be wrong but i think you get like five thousand points like just starting if you add that code into your account and that's a five dollar gift card yeah. right there you can get like starbucks or something so that's the cool thing so we just wanted to share that with you guys we're using it we love it so far again a week in and we had ten thousand points yeah. not doing anything different and we just our normal shopping routine and getting groceries and stuff for the house so now like we said we are cooking a very late lunch i know and but i'm excited for it yeah steaks and they're called smash potatoes. It's by this girl on YouTube, Mallory Irvin. She has a recipe and I showed you it. So we're boiling them right now and then we're gonna go and possibly go to a Super Bowl party. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna eat before the party and then we're gonna eat yeah. at the party. So 
We will show you guys how we make the potatoes and I'll be sure to link the recipe, because again, it's not my recipe, um, how you guys can make it. So we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so our step one for the potatoes is done. The potatoes have been boiled. Now we're gonna drain them. Ooh, so steamy. And they have a really good smell too. I know, these are the yellow ones. We normally do red. So just drain them. Drop them in, right? Mm -hmm. How exciting. I don't know. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. Now from there, we're going to put them in a little mixing bowl. And we're going to throw some olive oil, salt, and pepper on them. Hopefully that mixing bowl can fit it. I, <laughs> I feel like we have a lot. Maybe just like where it can fit, you know? Like don't overfill them. How's that? Actually, they might fit. Yeah, but we gotta mix it in the bowl. Bless you, Smitty, I heard you. Mama always hears you. All right. Oh, now they're doing garments over there. Okay, so, olive oil, salt, and pepper. I will do all this. I feel like this bowl's too small. Hopefully that's enough. They are steamed. Get that later. And they said to just mix them. This bowl is so small. Oh, no. <laughs> Darn it. I might just remix them in this big pot. Just because it's easier. I don't think we anticipated having this much. The more the merrier. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. As long as they fit. So just give them a little stir, olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then from there, hopefully I can touch them with my hands. Oh, they're nice and soft. Let me get something else. Okay, so from there, basically, you're just gonna line your pan. Since they have olive oil, I'm not gonna put like aluminum foil underneath it, but. Trial and error, we'll see if we needed it or not. flat utensil and you just smash them. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> you can smash them as much or as little as you want. And these are like really soft because I boiled them. Oh, this is fun. <gasps> <laughs> a little oily. I think it's the little ones. Those are just kind of hard. Do you want to do some? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Get your anger and frustration. <laughs> See, they just like smash so easy. Oh, come on. You can do these too if you want. Hey, Finley. You passed out? You waiting for food? What are you doing? Hi, handsome. Mama and daddy making food, okay? That guy has been so obsessed with food lately. <laughs> he probably smells it, like, you know? He made a monster. Mm-hmm. You don't have to match him too crazy. Just to make him dent. Beautiful. Now these are going to go in the oven. So we're going to put them in the oven. You can put them side by side, don't you? Or maybe it's too long, huh? Yeah. That's fine. And then we'll check back in in 25 minutes. 
Okay, guys, so it's been 25 minutes. At, the potatoes have been in the oven at 450. So we need to take them out. We need to get new oven mitts. Don't those look delicious. Normally we do red potatoes all the time, so yellow potatoes are semi. Mm -hmm. Not like we've never had them before, but it's new for us to be cooking. So these look nice and crispy. And so the next step that you're gonna do, you're gonna melt some butter and have some garlic cloves in there. So we have it in our little cat bowl. <laughs> and you're just gonna brush them on each of the potatoes. So let's get a little butter and garlic. <laughs> We have two New York, what is it? New York strip sticks mm -hmm. um, that we cooked up. Now we're gonna have our potatoes. Oh, they look so good. Mm -hmm. We could have made them crispier, maybe next time. Throw them in the oven for a little bit longer. They're kind of soft. Yeah. Not in a bad Each way. of those will be crispy though. Yeah. Finley, what are you doing? I hear you. All right. So normally we have veggies or something on the side, yeah. but we just don't have it. So, that. it's probably messy. And that's it. And we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. And we're gonna have wine. Mm -hmm. Yellowtail, Shiraz. And that'll be our very, very, very late lunch. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're checking back in with you guys from the last time we vlogged and we were making like a late lunch, basically mm -hmm. dinner. And we were planning on going to a Super Bowl party, but then we just kind of got pretty sick. Yeah. Not quite sure what from. And then we realized we needed um, groceries for the week. So we went grocery shopping at Target, we powered through that. And now we're back home, everything's unpacked, we're ready to just kind of calm down and eventually go to sleep in probably the next 30 45 minutes mm -hmm. and so we found this cool tea i don't know if you guys can see it um it's by simply balance which is target's brand and this one's called after dinner tea, after dinner tea which i thought was really interesting so i guess it's supposed to just help you uh digest your food after dinner which is really cool you know to have that and what does it say it says, happily digest with ginger and peppermint. After dinner, we all could use a warm drink to get settled. Made with organic ginger, organic peppermint, organic fennel, and lemon balm. This soothing blend is a great end to a meal and the perfect beginning for digestion. So I'm super excited. So we're going to make ourselves a cup of this. This guy might have some chamomile. And that's about it. So we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Sorry this one got posted kind of late past our Saturday date. But we'll be back on schedule. So this vlog will go up Monday when you guys are watching it. We still have a new series coming Tuesday, which will be fun. And then we'll have our regular Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So just excuse this one. One little late vlog. We'll be back on track. So we'll see you guys. Good night, guys. Later. <laughs>